to this edition of Face to Face, bringing you Face to Face for the News Fist team. I'm Zayma Ratnayaka and tonight my guest is Mujibur Rahman, former Member of Parliament representing the Samagizana Balavega. He, however, resigned from Parliament when the local government polls were announced and he announced his candidacy for uh, as the mayoral candidate of the Colombo Municipal Council. But as we all know, uh, the local government elections were not held and they were postponed indefinitely. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Rahman, for Thank joining you, me. Thank you, Jamal. How are things, uh, Mr. Rahman? How is the SJB faring in the political landscape? They were changing political landscape of the country. The SJB is the main opposition. Uh, how are the, what are the new developments? Uh, at the moment, actually, we all know in the next few months, uh, even 24, 2024, the mm. president election will be there mm. on the corner. So now party is targeting that election mm. and we have started our grassroots work, uh, you know, organizing the party branches and everything. Mm. And the same way we are organizing, you know, the new voters are there, youth. Right. And from other side, our economic uh, committee, they mm. have organizing the meeting for the business crowd and mm. upper middle class and for the professionals and all. Mm. So at the moment, uh, we are... Uh, you know, we are we are we are looking for and we are uh, focusing on the president election or parliament election mm. coming on next year. Mm. And from the next January, so mm. we are starting our grassroots campaigns so against the governments. You mm. know, the situation is very difficult for the people. You know, because of the cost of cost of living, living. and all. Mm. So after January first, the increasing of uh, VAT eighteen percent mm. and three percent for the already the VAT tax they are for fifteen percent. Mm. That is, they're going to increase for the three percent, mm. and even they are going to uh, uh, impose for that tax eighteen uh, percent for the uh, some new mm. item. Mm. So anyway, uh, from January first, the situation is going to be a uh, very bad. Mm. So as a party. Uh, we are planning to organize uh, a lot of uh, protest campaign and uh, some uh, meetings mm. and uh, you know demonstrations, mm. all kind of thing from January. Right. So let's talk about uh, elections since we entered our conversation on that front. Earlier this year when the uh, provincial council and local government elections were announced, you relinquished your seat in parliament. Uh, you. Uh, took on the challenge of becoming the mayoral candidate for the Colombo Municipal Council. You announced your candidacy, but later on, the election was postponed indefinitely. And I know that uh, President Ranil Vikramasinghe has announced that uh, the presidential election followed by a parliamentary election will be held next year. But given the track record of uh, how elections were postponed indefinitely, do you believe that uh, closer upon the date to the presidential election, uh, some sort of tweak might happen or they might a attempt local government uh, election uh, uh, the presidential election I know constitutionally the presidential election yes. is supposed to yes. be held yeah but uh, there were rumors uh, swirling that uh, there were attempts being made to not hold the presidential election but rather to uh, uh, to abolish executive presidency and give uh, larger powers to parliament and so on so is the SJB geared up to face any and whatever challenges uh, that are thrown at it? Uh, now, thing is this, Jayamal. Now, anyway, president election can't postpone mm. it, right? Uh, it's uh, before November 19th, so they have to have the presidential election. Uh, the thing is, uh, uh, the only thing they are thinking about the elections, uh, whether they are going to have the parliamentary election first mm. or mm. after the presidency. Yes. Right, so that is, I think, the Pohot tour uh, must have different view on mm. that. Uh, they must be thinking having a parliamentary election before the presidential elections is the, is benefited for them. Right, right, so they mm. can get more representation okay. to the parliament. Mm. Uh, if they have the parliamentary election after the presidential election, then anyway they are going to lose this election. You know, so if you have the parliamentary after the president, mm. so that means they are going to face a very uh, big defeat, mm. right? Mm. So that's the uh, point I think in the go inside the government uh, they are thinking whether uh, they must have the parliamentary first or mm. presidential first. Right. But I don't know what the president, uh, Mr. Ranil Vikramasinghe, is thinking mm. uh, because he may uh, think uh, uh, go for the 
presidential election first then he can get all these uh, vote to a mm. uh, and pro to a breakaway groups mm. uh, supporting everything mm. so still we can't see uh, clear picture right so anyway we have to wait and see till january end of january mm. so if the end of january we can see mm. you know whether they are going to the parliamentary or president mm. but anyway mm. uh, next uh, year is uh, there is a uh, national level election right so going to be changed. either way be change yeah. either way whether it's a parliamentary or president mm. so samriki janabala vege is a relatively new party but uh, from its first instance uh, contesting in elections it managed to become the main opposition in the country yes but are you confident that your presidential candidate uh, the opposition leader sajid premadasa will be able to secure a majority of the votes of the people because yeah. now the slpp has said that it's still deciding on who they are going to announce as their presidential candidate including uh, prominent businessmen and so on so is the sab confident that uh, regardless of who comes into no, the presidency race uh, the thing is this mm. now slpp uh, if they put any candidate mm. they are not going to win right that is the truth okay right we must accept no that's mm. reality right right so they can't win this election mm. right because if they put businessman no mm. if they put gota be again <laughs> mm. uh, even mahinder rajapaksa contested mm. you know this election they can't win right. right only thing they can do they can you know the cover up their vote base mm. little bit you mm. know so because of that only they need a candidate mm. to to cover up the their block vote right you know mm. in the parliamentary election so they can get some representative to the parliament yes. so that's what they can do this election okay. no, nothing else mm. right from our side so party has already decided mm. uh, you know our opposition leader and party leader sajid premadasa mm. going to be contest for the presidency election mm. even last 2019 presidency election we got nearly 55 lakhs mm. you know 5.5 million, million yes right mm. so i think at the moment we have a uh, even there are a lot of minority parties even mm. we have a good relationship with the tamil parties mm. in the northern and eastern part of the island right. even other small parties are there mm. even uh, all minority parties are with us even the up country uh, parties are with us mm. so there are so few people who are not corrupted uh, mm. uh, with uh, who are with pa mm. who are with slpp mm. but not involved in the corrupted and corruption things and all mm. so they also Uh, talking with the party mm. so even the uh, uh, there are some uh, civil like organizations right. you know so they also talking with us mm. so anyway we are going to form a large front mm. you know to before the election mm. so we have a uh, you know we have a trust and mm. we have i have believe mm. we can win this election is the samki janabalave ki united mr rahman because we saw after president ranil wickremesinghe to courts uh Harin Fernando and Manushana Nayakara yes. who were spearheading uh the campaign to oust former president uh, yes. Gotabaya Rajapaksa yes. defected and they crossed over and uh, are now in president Ranil Wickremesinghe's government very recently we saw that member of parliament Vadivel Suresh was appointed as a as an advisor to uh, the president as well so how confident are you in that front but I, I numbers but, but at the moment mm. i don't think uh, you know from the sl sdb is there any person mm. uh, will join with uh, the ranil wickremesinghe the united national party uh, united national party or with the president right uh, but uh, from you were talking our um, even the mr ranil who uh, this uh, haren fernando and manusha mm. and vadivel suresh mm. and they were because i don't know because you know you know that they what they what they were uh, when they were with the stb mm. how they talk against the ranil wickremesinghe mm. right so yeah. when you see their uh, you know past video clips and all mm. right how they criticize ranil mm. wickremesinghe right? right why they they said no why they join with sajit premadasa mm. why they refuse ranil wickremesinghe mm. finally Ranil became Wickremesinghe became the president mm. so they forget everything mm. what they said about the Ranil Wickremesinghe and they 
went and joined with things. So are you saying? And they took the ministerial post. Are you saying they were being so opportunistic? So that means they are opportunities. Right. Right. But because that is exactly what, uh, right. Opportunities mm. and they are uh, all hunger for a ministerial post. Because what? Uh, even even they took the ministerial post from the Gotabi Rajapaksa. No? Mm. So but what, what Mr. Gotabi Harin Rajapaksa? said was, he said that although there were invitations to take up the helm of the country and to steer the country out when the crisis was occurring, yes. yeah. uh, the opposition failed to do so. That is why they wanted no, no, to do it no. for the people and they took no, up roles in the government. Not opposition failed to do. Well, mm. We had a big discussion mm. a few days, you know. Right. So that time I also in the parliament, no? Right, yes. So we had a group meeting mm. and we discussed. Mm. Uh, finally, majority people said, mm. uh, okay, mm will take the power, right. but it should be a national government, mm -hmm. right? So we'll go for the one-year term. Right. After uh, one year, we'll go for the parliamentary election. Mm. So within six months period, Gotabi Rajapaksa has to resign. Mm. That is, the, everybody is expect, accepting that one, right. right? So there are certain conditions were there. But it didn't but materialize. The, but, the, but the president, uh, Gotabi Rajapaksa, he didn't accept it. Mm. And even after the Rajapaksa family involved, to the discussion, mm. so they want Ranil Vikramasinghe to be a president. Okay. Right. Right. Mm. So, so finally, the Rajapaksa family only decided mm. uh, who is going to be the prime minister. Mm. Right. So they choose the uh, the better person is Ranil Vikramasinghe right. for them mm. and flexible for them. Mm. Right. Right. So they only selected. Mm. Right, so we put some proposal. Mm. Actually, we we were ready to take over. Right, but we said it should be a like a national unity government. Okay, you know all parliamentarian parties mm. who represented the parliament, they should they must involve in the government. Mm. Right, the, but government should have a national program mm. and uh, 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 certain period mm. for the certain period. Okay, so after that we must dissolve the parliament. Right, right. So likewise we had a agenda. Right. Right for mm. that agenda, SLPP they didn't accept it. Right. So because of that, only we didn't take the uh, government. The government. Right. Mm. So so Ranil Vikramasinghe didn't have, he didn't he didn't, he didn't have any agenda. Mm. Right. He has only thing is Rajapaksa call him mm. and take over. Because I ask so you this it. because a major accusation that the opposition now has is that you had a golden chance to take no, over you, power you, in the country. No, you see what mm. what is what is the now SLPP's. Main people, mm. you know, Mahinda Ananda, mm. Rohita Bekunavardhan, right. likes those former ministers. Mm. What they said? They said, mm. we got four names. Right. Right? Mm. Sarat Fonseca, mm. Sadit Premadasa, right. Anurag Kumar, mm. Ranil Vikramasinghe. Okay. So we selected Ranil Vikramasinghe. Mm. So other, then what? So, so you were not those, even in consideration. Right, those people only telling, they are now coming and telling, mm. we only selected Ranil Vikramasinghe. Mm. So, that so is you all exactly, didn't have a chance in the first place. Yeah, yeah mm. exactly. That what they said is right. Mm. Because Rajapaksa family wants Ranil Vikramasinghe to be a prime minister. Right. Not Sajit Premadas or not mm. Andhra Kumar. Mm. Right? right. So their wish, their wish was uh, uh, Ranil Vikramasinghe. Mm. But Haren and Manusha and you know, they were telling now different story, you know, mm. right? That's why I'm telling you now before one and a half years ago, how they criticized Ranil Vikramasinghe, mm. right? They say that he is a failed leader, mm. right? right. So like, like, like that only they discuss about and they openly attack Ranil Vikramasinghe, right? right? Until Ranil Vikramasinghe to be a prime minister. Mm. Right. If the Ranil Vikramasinghe to be a prime minister, suddenly within 24 hours everything got changed. Mm. Right. Because of Ranil Vikramasinghe offered them for a Ministerial ministerial portfolio. Post. Portfolio. Right. So because of that, <laughs> finally they changed everything. Right. What they said about the Vikramasinghe, mm. all got changed. Mm. So that means they 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 went for a uh, power. Mm. If still if the Ranil Vikramasinghe in the opposition. Mm. What do you think? You think Haren and Manusha will go and join with Vikramasinghe? So, what if there are more people who are opportunistic in the opposition and they do now, defect now, from the opposition? Now, always these opportuni opportunities are, you know, opportunities always were there, no? Mm. Not, this is not a first time, no? Right. All the, in the, this parliament, mm. you know, when go to the, when you go to the parliament history, history. Mm. right, always the people 
voted for them for mm. the stay in the opposition right. when they come to the parliament mm. if the government is offered some deputy or state minister a portfolio right. always they have cross over mm. right so right. this is not the first time yes. it happened in the history okay so these things are you know not big issues so mm. when the election comes mm. you can see how people going to respond to but them. but last year when the uh, aragalia happened mr rahman the people called for a system change they wanted a paradigm shift in sri lanka's and it wanted uh, they wanted an overhaul of how sri lanka is governed but yeah. if you take the system uh, the good governance government from 2015 to 2019 was represented by many of the members of parliament who are now in the samagizana palavege so did you also not contribute to the downfall of sri lanka and how confident are you that the people will again place your no. trust in them no. for another term no my my view is this now now you know but this economic collapse thing started mm. it was starting from 2019 no right right so really mm. they starting from after gotabi came to power mm. he, because of he has given the tax uh, free, but that is not know. what the slpp is saying they are saying that no, is the economic growth slowed yeah, down yeah, yeah. and then I, I, the I, I, isb even uh, i saw yesterday is also mahinda rajapaksa was mm. telling the same story no right so then if the yahapalane government uh, did everything right. so why they then they have selected ranil vikramasinghe to mm. oh, be a president of mm. this country mm. so they should have selected their own person from their camp no mm. right? right so why why now they are working they are running on ranil vikramasinghe's program going back to him not going back to him mm. even they are accepting you no know, ranil vikramasinghe mm. singer's program yes no? Yes. but but he brought in 2001 government mm. regaining sri lanka mm. right mm. so why these people are uh, accepted that one mm. and working with him okay right mm. so if gota be left from mm. the country mm. say they should have select one person from their own camp mm. rather uh, go, go in behind right. mr vikram singh right <laughs> right okay. that mean these people are completely bankrupt mm. even politically they have bankrupt mm. they don't have leaders right in their own camp okay right mm. only they have leaders only rajapaksas mm. right without rajapaksas no no leader for them right right mm. so without if they are thinking without rajapaksa then they are thinking about vikramasinghe mm. right yes. vikramasinghe or rajapaksa mm. <laughs> right yeah. so i think my view is mm. even the slpp must take the responsibility for even you know there is a there, there is a judgment mm. right supreme court clearly mm. they have given for economic a, crimes yeah they have given a verdict mm. saying economically uh, because of its bankruptcy happened mm. because of these people has taken wrong decision mm. right yes. so then what else mm. they fail to carry out their yeah, duties yeah then what else mm. the, the highest institution of this country mm. supreme court mm. so they have given a verdict no right so then then nothing else no mm. so what else but now public sentiment seems to be changing because initially there were there were a lot of protests uh, we do see protests now but not to the scale of the aragalia that we saw and the number of protests have also reduced i don't know whether it is because of, because of suppression but now the people are saying regardless of uh, th- some people i am not uh, subscribing that everyone is of the uh, same notion but some people say that regardless of all of these tax hikes we have uh, food to eat we have electricity we have water we don't have 8 to 9 now power cuts mm-hmm. now look at uh, operation yuktia that is happening where the underworld and uh, narcotics operatives are being nabbed over a period of uh, i think 7 to 8 days uh, how do you see this no thing is this now mm-hmm. now now even now uh, because now people are actually they are waiting for the elections right so that is the only way we can change the government right. people has realized that okay right mm. so everybody is patiently they are waiting mm. election to come mm. right you know now uh, when you know now the situation even last two and a half years in the country is mm. very very uh, bad situation economically right, right? everybody is suffering mm. even you is suffering even myself you know all the people mm. you know even top to bottom everybody right. is suffering right. so no relief for them mm. 
right even vikramasinghe and the government mm. they ask people to wait 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 you know mm. we can't see mm. end of this right, right? Mm. but they are not sacrificing anything right right they are enjoying they are all privileges right right every month they are traveling abroad mm. they are going on first class mm. ministers are going on business class mm. right even they can sacrifice even that one right, right? Mm. so they are going on air lanka they are coming in emirates mm. right mm. so so you know the, the people now notice those everything mm. you don't think you know people do anything right. people knows everything right. so they are waiting till time come mm. because of that only vikramasinghe mm. and the government scared for the election right. so why they postpone the local government election mm. because they are scared right right they mm. know right you know the because of they are postpone the local government election mm. uh, they know if the election held mm. definitely is going to wipe out mm. right pohot to her and all these uh, vikramasinghe mm. are going to be wiped up right so because of that mm. only they are postponing the election okay. even they will try to do something for that for the parliamentary and that uh, president election too right but they can't do anything because of is clearly in the uh constitution right right mm. the period is there okay so because of that they can't change it so let's talk about the future if the sjb uh sjb's presidential candidate of course wins the election and you are able to form a government uh, that is a majority of the sjb uh, ruled by the sjb what will you do, do differently how will you take measures for greater revenue generation for the government how will you support small and medium scale enterprises in the country will you slash taxes how will you work around those give mm. me a, a slight no, idea uh, of no, your vision right no, idea Man. is uh, you know our mm. mainly our economic committee sjb so mm. they had uh, you know prepared a economic program mm. and we have a document in written right right so our blueprint is there mm. so mainly we are uh, already our party leader and our economic group they have told uh, clearly to the business people mm. and other professionals you know uh, we have to come out from this situation mm. so we have to do some sacrifices okay is right but mm. it has to do from top to bottom right from the government side also will that happen it will happen you know so otherwise you know we can't uh, put the country on the right path mm. right from from politician mm. start the sacrifice from the politician because politicians have a trend of if if, uh, if, a, if a politician uh, don't want to sacrifice yes. so nothing will happen but they have a trend of forgetting things conveniently no, that, once they no, come that, into power no that's why no, they said the sjb is a new political party mm. so we want to bring up a new political culture right and we also you know working for a system change mm. right so those things are in our mind right. even we are, we are presently also you know mm. our activity is and you know we are uh, concerned about the this corruptions and all mm. we are trying to uh, you know stop the corruptions and we will bring new laws mm. right to can implement right right and even uh, that uh, uh, so so those kind of things are we had a plan and right. we have a good team mm. you know not only sajid premadas mm. with the ib team mm. uh, where uh, young people are there mm. and professionals are there mm. so for economics are, are there mm. so we have a good team mm. so we think uh, the first thing is uh, jayamal uh, the pe- uh, the government must have a people mandate right right mm. so this over here mm. even vikramasinghe even this slpp now mm. they doesn't have the mandate okay right mm. so because of we need a mandate from the people then we can build up a mm. good uh, the rapport with the international community mm. and even with the locally right. so you know now even in the local business crowd you think mm. oh, no one is invest, doing a investment over here no right. even the local business crowd is moving mm. now you, they all going in india bangladesh regional you know, countries vietnam mm. and nepal you know mm. so all these business crowd are moving to the some other country right. why the local people are going mm. right mm. we are not talking about the foreigners right right for in investment mm. even local, local businesses local are relocating now they are relocating right. why so they don't have a trust mm. confidence mm. about this government but have you met those business leaders have yeah, you had yeah. discussions our, with our them? mainly our economy economic group mm. and our party leaders mm. they met all these big business crowd in the in, in the in the country mm. right so we have explained to them you know if he comes to power what we are going to do right. the our program and mm. all mm. so main thing is confidence mm. right do we have a confidence on this government mm. no one has right 
right mm. even local people doesn't have mm. so how this uh, foreigners will come mm. right mm. if the local people doesn't have a confidence about this government right. so will foreigners will come over here right. no mm. right so that's why because of that only we always said even to the president mm. please dissolve the parliament and go for the new mandate right. because we can oh, that, that imf support is not enough right right mm. the imf support is only for the stable yes we can stable economic the economy stability. that's it mm. so if we want to move forward mm. so we need the confidence of the people right but speaking of confidence of the people recently when i was watching the news i saw a uh, member of parliament dilan perera saying that they have held discussions <coughs> with the sjb they have held discussions initially on a, a lead party leader level and then also on a com committee stage level as well but those uh, members of parliament are a breakaway faction of the sfpp who were in the government when the country's economy collapsed when the country's uh, economy was driven to bankruptcy so why would the sjb even want to associate themselves with representatives of parliament who were in government when the country's economy collapsed so you said the people want confidence how will that build the people's no, no, confidence no 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 there are people you know they were with the slpp mm. now 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 they came and they uh, they have now in the opposition Side, yes. right so those people are still they are engaging with some dialogue with our party yes right so it's, it's we 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 have open discussion with them mm. so we have clearly told them mm. what this is our program but those this are not what, fresh faces no, mr rahman no you but, no no the no, no, thing is this mm. now there are uh, fr uh, even f fresh faces also there are mm. there are some people so long time they are with the slpp right. and the slfp mm. you know Uh, there were some people. They were in parliament nearly 20 years, yes. 25 years. Mm. So there are a lot of people are there. Mm. So, but still, so they 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 want to have some sort of dialogue with us. Right. So we are at the moment we are engaging uh, some discussion with them, but right. still not finalized. Mm. Right. So we'll see in the future how to uh, accommodate them more. Uh, what we can do for them also. Mm. so still we have not made any decision mm. still uh, the open discussion is open for everybody right because uh, there are certain political parties who have said that we won't associate ourselves with anyone not even breakaway factions of the slpp and when certain uh, statements like this are made even the credibility of the sjb is damaged because the sjb is seen as an alternative to the current government and you say that you are confident and you are capable of taking sri lanka out of this crisis and taking it towards development but when these statements are made it really uh, it really takes a very big hit on this, uh, the sjb's credibility doesn't it you think these people uh, when, they, uh, they join with us yes Uh, no the, i i am looking the issue is like this mm. there are some people you know with the slpp mm. they were they were not involved with the, any corruption so mm. uh, any involvement with uh, you know politically uh, some uh, bad things so mm. anything so even there are some fresh faces uh, there are new faces mm. who came to the parliament first time mm. so even those people you know they like to uh, have a, some sort of discussion with us mm. there are some people they like to join to direct to the stab mm. you know so there are a lot of people are there mm. so you know and even even so those days you know they also have a, some sort of uh, the believe on gota be and this slpp mm. so now they now they think you know politically they have made a uh, wrong decision they admit it they admitted mm. you know so if if, the, if if so i don't think you know any harm uh, having a discussion mm. with them uh, like those people you mm. know is politically or even they admitted but they are, have done a mistake right. you know so is nothing wrong on that right so finally i want to ask you very quickly will 2024 be sjb year do yes, you believe sir sure. yeah i i believe you i believe, believe so. even in the next uh, presidential election or mm. parliamentary election mm. sjb can win in the parliament majority of mm. the seats mm. even if the uh, president election comes mm. uh, definitely sajit premadas uh, he will be winning candidate right and that's the way it was on face to face for tonight my guest this evening was mujibur rahman former member of parliament samagi janapala vege thank you very much for thank joining you. me this evening thank mr you. rahman 
The SJB is confident <coughs> of uh, securing a majority at the presidential election and also the parliamentary election and it says that it will instill the confidence in the people and take Sri Lanka towards a path of growth. Thank you very much for joining me this evening. Take care and good night.